Hi, welcome to this video and my channel. My name is Kayleen. I'm back again with another crochet tutorial. In this video, we're going to be crocheting the Blast of Blossoms doily, which is going to be about 17 centimeters wide. I'm going to be using fine weight cotton yarn and a 3 millimeter hook. You're also going to need a pair of scissors, a yarn needle, something to measure with, and an optional stitch marker. So once you have everything you need, let's go ahead and get started. We're going to begin with a magic circle. So make a magic circle. Then chain one. Now, we're going to make six single crochets in this magic circle. And once you have six single crochets, pull the yarn tail to close up the circle. Now join with a slip stitch into the top of this first single crochet. And now we are done with round one. Let's begin round two. To begin, chain three. And this counts as one double crochet. And I'm going to mark this third chain with my stitch marker. Now chain 3. Next, we're going to make another double crochet into the same stitch where the chain is in. And now we have a V stitch. Now we're going to make another V stitch into the next stitch. So again, chain 3. Then double crochet into the next stitch. Then again, chain three. Then to make the V stitch, put another double crochet back into the same stitch. Now again, chain three, then you're going to repeat all the way around. By the end of the round, you should have six V stitches, and that's a total of 12 double crochets, and you should have three chains in between every single double crochet. And after you've made your last V stitch in your last stitch, don't forget to chain three, Then to finish off this round, join with a slip stitch into the third chain from the bottom where the stitch marker is. And this finishes off round 2. In the third round, we're going to be working only into the chain 3 spaces. So to begin round 3, slip stitch into the first chain 3 space. Then chain 3. And this will count as one double crochet. Now make a double crochet in the same space. These two double crochets will count as the first cluster of two double crochets, and I'm going to mark the top of this first cluster. Now chain two, and we're going to work another cluster of two double crochets into the same space, and we do this by working two double crochet stitches together. So yarn over, insert your hook into the same space. Yarn over and pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through the first two loops. 
Don't finish this double crochet, leave these two loops on your hook. Now yarn over, insert your hook into the same space. Yarn over and pull up another loop. Yarn over, pull through the first two loops. Three loops on your hook. Now yarn over and pull through all three loops and that's your next cluster. Now chain two, then move on to the next chain three space. We're going to work another cluster into the next space. So yarn over and insert your hook into the next space. Yarn over and pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through the first two loops. Leave these two loops on your hook. Then yarn over, insert your hook into the same space. Yarn over, pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through the first two loops. Three loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through all three loops. Now chain two. Then work one more cluster into the same space. And once you have two clusters of two double crochets, chain two, then move on to the next chain three space. Then you're going to repeat what you did here all the way around. Once you get to the end of the round, remember to chain two after you've made two double crochet clusters in the last chain three space. Then finish with a slip stitch into the top of the first cluster where the stitch marker is. Now you should have two clusters of two double crochets in every chain 3 space. And that's a total of 24 clusters. There should also be a chain 2 space following every single cluster. Your work may start to become wavy at this point, but that's perfectly fine. This waviness will go away once you get to the last couple of rounds. Let's move on to round 4. We're going to be working into every other chain 2 space. So begin with a slip stitch into the first chain 2 space. Now chain 3, counting as one double crochet. Mark the third chain from the bottom. Then chain 3. Now make a double crochet in the same space. Now we have a V-stitch in this chain 2 space. Now chain 3. Skip the next chain 2 space. Then V-stitch into the following chain 2 space. So double crochet. Chain 3, then double crochet again into the same space. Then chain 3 again. Skip the next chain 2 space, then V stitch into the following chain 2 space. Chain 3, then another double crochet into the same space. Then again, chain 3, and repeat this to the end of the round. And here's how my work looks at the end of round 4. You should have one chain 2 space remaining here, and don't forget to chain 3 after your last V-stitch. So skip this chain 2 space, then slip stitch into the third chain from the bottom where the stitch marker is. Then 
And now we are done with round four. You should have a total of 12 V stitches all the way around with a chain three space following every single double crochet. Moving on to round five, begin with a slip stitch into the first chain three space. Then chain three, counting as one double crochet. Now make a double crochet in the same space. And like in round three, this will count as the first cluster of two double crochets. So mark the top of this first cluster. Now you're going to chain three. Then make another cluster of two double crochets into the same space. So two double crochets together into the same space. Yarn over, insert your hook into the same space. Yarn over, pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through the first two loops. Leave those two loops on your hook. Yarn over, insert your hook into the same space. Yarn over, pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through the first two loops. Now yarn over and pull through all three loops. Now we have two clusters separated by chain three. Now chain two and a single crochet into the next chain three space. Then again, chain two. Now the first pattern repeat begins here. We're going to make two clusters into the chain three space on top of this V-stitch. Chain three after the first cluster. Then make another cluster into the same space. Now chain two, then move on to the next chain three space. Make a single crochet in the square shaped chain three space. Then again chain two. And this is the end of the first pattern repeat. Now repeat what you did here 10 more times. I've come to the end of round five, ending with a single crochet and chain two in the last chain three space. Now slip stitch into the top of the first cluster to finish round five. And there should be a total of 12 sets of two clusters, one on top of each V-stitch, and a single crochet in all the spaces between the V-stitches. And you should have a chain three space in between each cluster, and a chain two space before and after each single crochet. Let's begin round six. Slip stitch into the first chain three space. Then chain three, Counting as the first double crochet. Mark the third chain from the bottom. Then chain one. Next, double crochet in the same space. And chain one. Now do this in the same space three more times. So double crochet chain one double crochet chain one then again double crochet chain one now we have five double crochets, each followed by chain one, all in the same space. Next, 
we're going to be working two double crochets together over the next two chain two spaces. So yarn over, then insert your hook into this next chain two space. Yarn over, pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through the first two loops. Leave these two loops on your hook. Now yarn over, insert your hook into the other chain two space. Yarn over, pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through the first two loops. Three loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through all three loops, then chain one. Now move on to the next chain three space. Now the first repeat begins here. In the next chain three space here, double crochet and chain one five times. Then work two double crochets together over the next two chain two spaces. Then chain one. Now repeat this pattern to the end of the round. I'm at the end of round six. Your last stitch should be two double crochets together over the last two chain two spaces and chain one. Now slip stitch into the third chain from the bottom. And now you should have a total of 12 shells of five double crochets in chain one and a triangle shaped two double crochets together followed by chain one in between the shells. To begin round seven, which is the final round, I'm going to put my stitch marker into the slip stitch that I made just now. Then chain four, skip the next chain one space, then slip stitch into the top of the next double crochet. Then again, chain four, slip stitch into the next double crochet. And again, chain four, Slip stitch into the next double crochet. And one more time. Chain four. Slip stitch into the next double crochet. Next, slip stitch into the next chain one space. Then slip stitch into the top of the group of two double crochets here. Slip stitch into the next chain one space. Then slip stitch into the top of the next double crochet. Now the first repeat begins. Chain four, then slip stitch into the top of the next double crochet four times.
then you're going to make four slip stitches one into the next chain one space one into the top of the group of two double crochets and one into the next chain one space and then one into the top of the next double crochet and repeat this pattern to the end of the round all right i finally come to the end of round seven you should have four decorative chain four picot stitches on top of each shell I made only three slip stitches at the end of the round, one into this chain one space here, one into the top of the last group of two double crochets, and one into this last chain one space here. And we're not going to do anything with this first slip stitch yet. Now cut the yarn. and thread it through the yarn needle. Then, insert your needle into the first stitch where the stitch marker is, from back to front. Then pull through. and then through the center of the final slip stitch of the round. Insert your needle from front to back, then pull through to the back. Now we can remove this stitch marker and weave in all the yarn ends. If you found this tutorial helpful in any way, a great way to help me out is to give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and share this video with anyone who might also like it. Thank you so much for watching and for your support. Please drop me a comment if you made this doily, and I hope to see you again in my next video.